every false way. Grab Amos 5. I'm already there. Okay. Amos chapter 5, verse 21. I hate, I despise your feast day. Verse 14. Seek good. Do what? Seek good and not evil that ye may live. And so the Lord Yahweh of hosts shall be with you. The Bible tells you to seek, seek good that you will live. So the Lord will be with you, right? Come on, brother. As ye have spoken, uh -huh. hate the evil. Do what? Hate the evil. See that? Hate the evil, come on. And love the good. And love the good. Come on. And establish judgment in the gate. And we are both be establishing judgment within our gates, within our community. Judgment, come on. That it may be Yahweh. Elohim of hosts will be gracious unto yeah, he's, he's the remnant of Joseph. You see that? What you got? Psalm 55, Yes, sir. Psalm chapter 55, verse 22. Cast thy burdens upon the Lord. Psalm 55, verse 22 and 23. Cast our burdens upon the Lord. Cast all your burdens upon Yahweh, the Lord God. Right. And he shall sustain thee. Uh -huh. He shall never suffer thy righteous to be moved. So cast your burdens on the Lord, he will sustain you. He won't allow the righteous to be moved. Right? But you got to believe that. It's either ink on paper or you believe it. Sorry. Thank you. Come on, brother. 23. But thou, O oh God, so bring them down into the pit of destruction. See what David saying? The Lord gonna bring them down to the pit of destruction. Come on, brother. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half of their days. Bloody and deceitful men won't live out half their days. See that? So for you little Negroes in the, vi the vibration of gang banging, why you get cut off early? Why you get cut off in the midst of your days? Because bloody you? and deceitful men shall not live out half of their days. That's right. But I will trust in thee. The book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 10. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the most high shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children. Hearken up to me. Come on. I will teach you to fear the most high. See, this is the fear of the Lord right here. So we say, come and listen. Always be prepared to listen. I will show you the fear of the Lord. Come on. Verse 12. What man is he that desire life and love many days that he may see good? Ain't that what we desire? No, we desire Verse 13. Read that verse again. Verse 12 again. What man is he that desire life and love many days? That's a good question. Don't we desire eternal life? Don't we want to live forever? What you need to do? Come on. Keep thy tongue from evil. Keep thy tongue from evil. Come on. And thy lips from speaking God. And thy lips from speaking deceit. Verse 14. Depart from evil. Do what? Depart from evil. Uh -huh. And do good. Uh -huh. Seek peace and pursue it. Seek peace and pursue it. We need 1 Peter 3. 1 Peter 3, 10 to 13. Another witness. No, we just read. You both have a whore of that which is evil and cleave to that which is good. That's right. First Peter chapter 3. Hey, it's never a dull moment on Judah Block. Yeah. Yeah. It's always something going on. It's always something going on. Oh, praise to the Holy Father. Verse Peter chapter 3, verse 10. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from doing evil. Let him refrain his tongue from doing evil. We just read that in Psalms 34. Refrain your tongue from doing evil. And his lips that they speak no God. And his lips that they speak no deception. Come on, brother. Let him eschew evil. Let him hate evil. Mm. Not like Job there, bro. Let him eschew evil and do good. And let him seek peace and ensue it. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And who is he that will harm you if ye be followers of that which is good? See that? So the same thing we read in Psalm 34. Keep your tongue from evil, 
Keep that mouth from deception. You see what I'm saying? Hate was evil. Believe that was good. Hey, hey I want to say something. Hey, go back to that first Peter uh, 3 and 12 right there. That's something important though too, yeah, but we because, talked about that prayer deal. Yeah. Read that verse 12 again. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. So the eyes of the Lord are over who? The, the righteous. righteous. So righteous according to Deuteronomy 6.25 is okay. they that keep the commandments of the Most High. Bring it out. Bro. Read that again. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. Come on. And his ears. And his are, what? And his ears. And his ears are open unto their prayers. So that his ears are open to their prayers. Because John 9, 31 said that he don't hear sinners. That's right. Proverbs 28, 9 said that if you turn your ear away from hearing the law, even your prayer will be an abomination. That's right. So he tell you, read that one more time. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. So his ears are open to their prayers, the righteous, those who keep the commandments. That's right. Read. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. That's what I wanted to bring out. No oh, doubt. Bring it out. Your prayer won't be answered if you not keep the commandments. Flat out. Flat out. <laughs> like, like, and that's major because. Go into the spiritual understanding on why somebody can go so hard at keeping you from keeping Why would somebody teach them? For one, for, for one, you inherited death, and two, your prayer ain't even getting answered. You can't even have it. That's major right there. That's why we bang so hard against them Sunday churches. Man. What does what does Satan tell even to go at? You? you ain't gotta do what God say. Told her not to do what her father heard. Head told her to do. That's right. What well, creator told her to do. And look, that was the downfall of men. What happened? What? Exactly. Had her question. Proverbs 23. The right. Proverbs 23, 17, and 18. Because the wicked ain't got Really, he was like, do you believe that? The it wicked is going to be die? cut down. Believe do it or not. Proverbs 23, 17, and 18. The book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 17. Yes, sir. Let not thy heart be envy, sinners. Now read again. Read again. Sorry, yeah. Verse 17 again. Let not thine heart envy, sinners. See, that's step one. Why are you jealous over somebody who ain't trying to serve your God? Why are you arguing over these niggas is the best rappers? <laughs> or, you know, who the best basketball player? And that argument that get physical. Niggas are straight start fighting over that, man. The Bible say don't envy sinners. All right, come on, bro. Verse 17 again. Let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in fear of the most high. Oh, the day low. Always be in fear of the Lord. Right? Why is you jealous over him? Because he just jacked the whole neighborhood. The scriptures say, be the fear of the Lord all the day long. Come on, now. verse 18. Yes, sir. For surely there is an end. Hold on, hold on. For what? For surely. <laughs> for surely there is an end. There is an end. You can count, you can bet your last dollar on it. There is an end coming and there's a judgment coming. Alright, come on, brother. I'm gonna read it again. For surely there is an end, right. and that expectation shall not be cut off. Jump over to Proverbs 24, 1 and 2. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 1 and 2. Be not thou envious against evil men. There it go again. Neither desire to be with them. Don't even desire to be with them. You want to hang out with the little thugs in the hood for right. what? Right. For what? Right. Let's say coming to bow their neck to the word and get some understanding. What we got to rap about? Right. You all about murdering and dealing to your people. We have nothing to talk about. Nothing. We right. have nothing in common. Yeah, exactly. All right. We move different over here. That's right. Come on, brother. But soon, but our hearts study of destruction uh -huh. and their lips talk of mischief. Uh -huh. Jump down to verse 19. Verse 19. Yeah. Fret not thyself because of evil men. Right. Neither be thou envious at the wicked. Neither be envious at the wicked. Surely there is an end. Huh? Surely there is an end. But do you really believe that? Verse 20. But there shall be no reward to the evil man. Right. The candle of the wicked shall be put out. Now what's right. the candle? What's the candle? Your light. Light. Lights out. Let's go read it. Proverbs 20 and 27. What's the candle? 
Psalm 59, verse 20 and 27. What did it say, I? The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. Search all the inward parts. Searching all the inward parts of the belly. Read that verse again. That's 20. Proverbs chapter 24. Verse 20. Right. But there shall be no reward to the evil man. Right. The candle of the wicked shall be put out. You're going to die. That's what that means. The Lord going to take that spirit and gaze. Because the candle of the Lord is his spirit. That's what they know. See that? Read I mean, Psalm 37, 1 and 2 as well. Wait for you to preach that, And as you see, this is what we do. You dig? And it's all great. Not because we anything special. Right? The power that we serve. Not because of us. We're, we're as a nation of people, we're God's peculiar treasure. No doubt. But it's not because we're individually special. Right? This is the Lord's doing. If it wasn't us preaching it or teaching it, somebody else would be. He will keep on going. And, then, and, if, and if you out here tripping, I done seen it. He'd take the spirit off a brother and put it on another brother. On another. And they, and they keep going. You over there that ran out of gas, spirit gone. The Lord giveth and he shall take and it away. And he take it away. So you got to make your calling and your election sure, man. This is a serious thing. Turn down another. That's got it, brother. That's right. All praise. All praise. All praise. All praise. All praise. 37. Psalms 37, verse 1. Fret not thyself because of evil doers. Here it go again. Fret not yourself because of evil doers. Come on. Right. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Uh -huh. For they shall soon be cut down at like the grave. They shall what? They shall soon be cut down like the grave. See what the Bible says? And whether as the green earth. The Lord tell you the wicked gonna be cut down like grass, boy. If you cut grass, you know how easy it is to chop it down. Yeah. Huh? The wicked gonna be cut down like the grass and wither like the green earth. You see that? So everything that we teach and preach and bring out is in the Bible and it's about the restoration of our nation, the 12 tribes of Israel. But until we come back and apply this scripture, guess what? We gonna keep catching more and more hell. Right, let's get first Corinthians 4. What do we teach? We teach that according to the Bible, that we are direct descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. That's our nationality, God's chosen people. We are not black or Polish black. We are not African American. Those are two continents. You can't be that. And how are you that without an African American language or flag or language? or government, or history. We, as the so-called Negroes in America, scattered throughout North, Central, and South America, are the direct descendants of the 12 lost tribes of Israel scattered abroad. We are the same, are the same nation that Jesus Christ is from. Put on that boot. Hey, hey, say What's up, say What's the matter, boss? We sick? We sick? The early he gonna pull over to me. Y'all need to be helping them white folks. He wouldn't say that if he was in Congress. Clean up the neighborhood. Like, bro, we get this is the best yeah, we right. Because we're out here, that's why they coming out. The book of Psalms, chapter 59, verse 1. Deliver me from my enemies, O Most High. Defend me from them that rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity. And save me from bloody men. Save me from what? From bloody men. Save me from bloody men. For lo, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me, not for my transgression, nor for my sin, O oh, Most High. They run and prepare themselves without my fault. 
awake to help me and behold. Therefore, thou therefore, O Yahweh, the host Yahweh of Israel, awake to visit all the heathens. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressors. Say it up. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressors. Hey, if you slow down and read the Psalms, David was called for the judgment, man. They were. He was called for the judgment on the wicked. You know what I'm saying? Now it's crazy because David in the Bible is said to have a heart just like the Lord. You feel me? A repent of heart. So he on record calling for the judgment for the wicked. You see that? That's what's going on here. Today we need to get, get stop being so emotional. That's and right. Sisters. We in the land of our enemies. The Lord tell you, if you ain't getting down, you will be wrapped up. So so it's time for us to raise the men and the women back up and come back out of this deal as righteous. Anybody caught left field, the Lord is going to put in the grave. That's serious right there. It's not our work. They in the day. Go ahead and that out, bro. Still read Jonah. Go ahead that out. Yeah. Verse 10, I mean verse 9. Because of his strength will I wait upon thee. For most high is my defense. The God of my mercy. Verse 10 again. The God of my mercy shall prevent me. God shall let me see my desire upon my enemies. There it is. Slay them not, lest my people forget. Scatter them by your power. And bring them down, O oh Yahweh, our shield. For the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips, let them even be taken in their pride. And for cursing and lying, which they speak, consume them in wrath. Consume them that they may not be. And let them know that God ruleth in Jacob until the end of the earth. Hey, that Say it up. That's Psalm 59 for all. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's today, it's like you can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't ask the Lord. Like today, it's like you can't ask the Lord to get at your enemies. But you actually can't. You know what I'm saying? You can actually can ask the Lord to get at your enemies. Look, you don't want to get physical and mess somebody up. Right? Lord tells you straight petition the Lord to get at your enemies because your enemies are coming at you because of your righteousness. He just read it. Not for my transgression are they against me, but because I favor you, because I'm down with the Lord, I have enemies. And if, that, and if that's the case, the Lord, may all your enemies be confounded and put to shame. What do you think Christ gonna be doing? He gonna be putting down the enemies of the most high. See that? All right, come on, bro. Verse 14, at evening, let them return and let them make a noise like a dog and go round about the city. Let them wander up and down for meat and grudge if they be not satisfied. But I will sing of thy power. Yeah, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning. For thou hast been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. Defense and refuge in the day of trouble. The Lord. The Lord. Verse 17. Unto thee, O my strength, will I sing. For God is my defense and the God and the God of my mercy. That's right. That's right. First Corinthians 4, we're going to close up. First Corinthians 4, 11 on down, bro. All praise to the God of Abraham, All Isaac, praise. Jacob. Right. All praise. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, honor of his only begotten son, Jesus the Christ, Yahweh Shah Nazareth, the anointed of Yahweh. Yahweh Shah Christ, Jesus the Christ is the prophesied Messiah, prophesied all throughout the Torah and Tanakh. That's our position. If not, you need to show who it is. And uh, um, it could have been. And let me see, those are not answers. Oh, we don't know. Those are not answers. Oh, we ain't studied up yet. Yeah, those are not answers. We got nobody over us. I ain't bro. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4, starting verse 11. Even until this present hour, we both hunger and thirst. And are naked and are buffeted and buffeted and have no certain dwelling place. The life of the disciple. You see what's going on? 
to the present hour. We hunger and thirst and are buffeted and the brothers that have no certain dwelling place. Today you want to look down on your brother that really ain't got a house to live in. But the disciples didn't have a, a, a steady spot to live in. Christ didn't either. Christ didn't either. You see that? No certain dwelling place. Come on, brother. Verse 12. Yeah. And labor. Working with our own hands. Working with what? Our own hands. We are not, we're not promoting being lazy. Get out there and get it cracking. Because that's what the disciples was on too. They worked with their own hands. Before they even did physical work, they did spiritual work. They got out here and spread the gospel. All right, come on, brother. Being reviled. We blessed. Being persecuted. We suffered. Being defamed. We entreat. We are made as the filth of the world. We are made as the filth of the world. They don't like the true disciples of Christ, man. Brothers get talked about a lot, even from amongst our own ranks, amongst the, 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 the faith of Israel, you know what I'm saying? Different camps, different ideologies and beliefs. All right, come on, bro. It says, and of the offscoring of all things unto this day. See that? Talk real bad. All right, come on, bro. Verse 14. I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved sons, I warn you. I, what? I warn you. See, so he was warning the brothers, letting them know you gonna go through hell and high water. You gonna go through persecution. You gonna go through all that when you profess that Christ is Lord. All right, come on, brother. Verse 15. To the casket drop, baby. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Verse 15, they have though you have 10,000 instructors in Christ, yet have, yet have ye not many fathers. For in Christ Yahweh's Son, I have begotten you through the gospel. Wherefore I beseech you, be ye followers of me. For this cause have I sent unto you, Timotheus, who is my beloved son, and faithful in Yahweh, who shall bring you into remembrance of my ways, which being Yahweh Shah Christ, as I teach every, as I what? As I teach every, where in every church. See, so the doctrine is supposed to be the same everywhere where all these camps are set up. That's right. But it's not. That's the problem. You feel me? You got men though that don't want to humble to these scriptures because they got fancy garments on or something. Or because all y'all got purple and gold on. Like, what that mean? All right, come on, brother. Verse 18. Now some are puffed up. Nice. As, right, go ahead. Now some are puffed up. Right. As though I would not come to you. But I will come to you shortly, if Yahweh will. And will know not the speech of them which are puffed up. I'm all saying, I don't know nothing about all that fat mouth and that talking. Nigga, <laughs> I'm telling you, hit your fist and all that. He said, I'm going to come to you shortly. And I'm not going to know the speech or the talk of them that's puffed up. Talk a good game. Right, come on, brother. But the power for the kingdom of the Most High is not in word. Not in what? Not in word. Not in word. Come not on. in word, but in power. Uh -huh. What will ye? What, what, what will ye? What you want to do? Come on. What will ye? Shall I come unto you with a rod? Shall I come with a rod? Come on. Oh, I love. Oh, I love. And in the spirit of meekness. Right. That's it for that. See what he said? So he let you know to the present hour we are troubled and distressed, man. No certain dwelling in place, buffeted, hungry. But guess what? The Lord standing sure. Right, first Thessalonians 5, 4, verse uh, 23 and 24. Faithful is he that called you. Faithful is he that called you. Faithful is he that called you. Make your calling and election sure. 23 and 24. The book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23 And the very God of peace sanctify you holy right. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless yeah. Unto the coming and to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ That's right Come Faithful on. is he that calleth you Faithful is he that called you into this man Faithful is the Lord Come on Faithful is he that calleth you, who also, who also will do it. With that being said, all praise to the God of Israel. Praise. 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 Shabbat shalom. Shalom to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered abroad, commandment keepers in faith, 
of the Messiah, born in Bethlehem, raised in Nazareth, on the right hand side of the Lord, and soon to return and conquer this wicked society. Shalom. Hallelujah. Shalom.